Okay, today's going to be a short video and I want to talk about recursion and how we can use the Python turtle, turtle module to be able to demonstrate this amazing concept of recursion and some of the pitfalls as well. So I'd managed to create, uh, using quite some simple code, these amazing pictures here. Well, I think they're amazing. Um, and then I was having fun by changing the colour and um, changing the size and some of the parameters. And you can make some really quite amazing shapes with that. Now the code I used, this was all done in Python Turtle and I'm going to show you the very basic version of it right now so that you can see where I started from and how I managed to make it a bit more impressive. So the first one you see won't be that impressive, but um, I'm hoping that you can take it and run with it while learning a little bit about recursion as well. So let's make this a bit bigger so you can actually see what I've written. So as some of you, all of you, none of you will know that recursion basically is where a function calls itself, a function or a subroutine calls itself, okay? Um, there is a condition in there that um, in order for recursion to work properly, there needs to be what's called a base case, which will stop your function from running infinitely because that's the last thing you want the function to keep on running and you can't stop it. Um, so if you have a look at this little bit of Python code here, <clears throat> in order to work with the turtle module, we have to import it. And this line here, I know I've probably got a load of Python people up in arms about it, but it works nicely just for this little example. This is basically getting the turtle module and importing all of the functions that are inside it. So that's why it says import star. This is generally bad practice, but for now we'll let it slide. What it means is I don't have to write turtle.forward or turtle.write. I can just do forward, there you go, or left or right in it. Okay. Uh, now that line's out of the way, let's have a look at this def line. So this is basically creating me a function, or technically it's a subroutine because it's not actually returning anything, but we won't, we won't get into semantics here. So this function is called tree, and it takes some arguments, okay? It takes one, two, three, four different arguments after it, okay? We'll talk about those in a second. So this function tree has some code in it, and you can see it's got the code in it because it's all indented. Uh, now, the very first thing it says is if levels is greater than zero. This, my friends, is the base case. This terminates this program if levels, which is a parameter up here or argument up here, if it's equal to zero or if it's less than zero, it'll stop. Okay, so it will never run past the fact if levels is zero. So that is our base case. Assuming that levels is above zero, it moves the turtle forward. It moves it forward by however much trunk len is. I wonder if you can guess what that is. That's the length of the trunk. <clears throat> and then it turns it left by a certain angle. And then look, it's running itself again. It's running the tree function again, but with slightly different parameters. Okay, so levels has gone down by one. The trunk len has been multiplied by a shrink factor. We'll talk about that in a second. The angle is still the same and uh, the shrink factor is still the same. So they're passing that as a parameter so you don't have to store it as a global variable. Uh, once it's run that tree again, which in turn has got other calls to tree in it, yeah, um, it comes back and then it turns right, okay? It goes right by twice as much of the angle. If you don't get it, you'll see in a second. And then it runs tree again, okay? With the same parameters as it did on the, on the first branch, okay? Then it goes left again, which basically brings it back into the center. And then it goes back. So it's basically coming back to where it started from. I missed this out the first time I did it, so it didn't work and it all looked kind of like just a big fat mess. Uh, but, so you do need to go back to where you started from, otherwise the tree won't grow. Uh, so that is the little function. That thing there is the function to draw me a branch of a tree. <clears throat> this line, which is outside the function, is basically pointing my turtle upwards, okay? Because by default, the turtle starts pointing to the right. Um, so I want it to point upwards because trees tend to grow upwards. Um, and then I'm calling my function. So remember, you package, you've created a function here. There's lots of cool code in it, but it ain't going to work until you actually run your function. Okay, so that's where I'm actually running it. 
So in this case, I want a tree that has five sublevels. The starting trunk length is 80, okay? It'll go forward 80 to get that to work. Uh, the angle is going to be 20. And then I've got my shrink factor of 0.5. So basically you can see here that each level will get smaller by half every single time. This last line here done will just stop my turtle from executing. Sometimes I had problems where it was just running and I couldn't close it down. So that seems to make it work. Let's see what it does. Okay, remember this is quite basic, so don't get yourself too excited. So if I do run, here we go, you should see, there we go, it's running and it's doing one, two, three, four, five different levels. And you can see they're getting subsequently smaller and voila a perfect little tree let's tweak some of the settings here let us tweak it so that maybe we have seven levels i am going to make the shrink factor not quite so much i'm going to make it 0.7 let's see i spent so long playing around with this to get all these lovely colors and um uh shapes so i trust you can do this as well okay there we go now, it's going to take a little bit of time because we're now drawing seven levels and it has to keep going back. But hopefully you can see the power of recursion, the idea that you can write a function once and keep uh, running it over and over again. Recursion tends to work very well for um, certain problems, particularly divide and conquer problems, anything where you're doing the same thing but on a smaller and smaller and smaller scale. It doesn't work for everything. Please don't use it for everything. The problem with recursion is that while... Um, say for example these tiny little branches at the end are being drawn it's got six other recursive functions on hold waiting for it to come back to it okay and as you can see it's getting slower and slower each time so um, the, the time is the factor but also the memory is the factor having all of those variables held in memory waiting for your recursive call to come back to it so don't try and use recursion for everything because it won't be suitable and it could max out your computer. Right, uh, this is fun. What you'll also want to do is make it faster, okay? You could put the traditional speed brackets 100 in there to speed this up. Let's just see if that makes any difference. Um, but there's an even better, it's, it won't necessarily be, yeah, it's doing it, but I'm an impatient soul, so there's an even better way of doing it. And that is with... I'm going to have to try and remember it. It is called Tracer. I can't quite remember, so I'm just going to guess. I think it's Tracer 0. And then after the tree is drawn, we want to do update. That's basically telling the screen not to update anything and then just update it after the tree is drawn. So hopefully we'll see a massive improvement for my patience levels. Here we go, there we go, ta-da! And if I make it um, a little bit more deep, let's make it 10. It's not perfect, but you can see, there you go, a little bit of a delay. Um, you can start to really have fun with this, okay? My final code, which I will share with you, I've got here, which I am going to copy out here. I was having so much fun with this because I'm a little bit sad. Um, let's just over paste that there. <clears throat> um, I had a little bit of a Google of a way of getting my pictures because I was making such lovely pictures, I wanted to save them. So that was a little bit of code there that I found on the internet, which I'm not gonna show about. The things that I did like was the ability to um, change the colors. So that's how I got the nice faded colors. Uh, I also did um, uh, made the screen bigger as well. Let's just run this and you can see my customized one and it's still using the same basic code so the tree part hasn't really changed. This one takes a little bit longer because there are a few more levels. Ta -da -da, da -da -da. This will be, I'll fast forward this. And this original code, I had the shorthand for things like forward and right and left. So um, if you're confused about what FD and LT mean, this is the shorthand version of the commands that you get in the turtle. Um, 
in the turtle uh, library. Also, what I had to do was move down because this tree that I'm drawing is quite big. Um, it went off the top of the screen, so I've done a go to which moved my original cursor. Uh, the turtle down so there should be enough room so that explains that come on where is my picture this definitely did work <laughs> when i was practicing it it definitely did work uh tell you what do you know what i might do is i might i might cancel it do i give up on this it might be because i've got too many things running on my computer right control c okay uh, let's just tweak the code slightly. Yeah, I was doing 16 levels. Let's just make 12 there. All right. Let's see if this makes anything happen. It's still quite slow. And this is why, there we go, there we go. So you can kind of see, I've got the faded, um, I got the faded colors by playing around with color mode. Uh, I got the thicker thickness of the branches, which I think also makes it look a bit more tree-like in there. Okay, so see what you can do with this code. See if you can play around. See if you can learn a little bit more about recursion. And um, show me some of your cool examples that you get working. See you later.